Hi, I'm Nadia Oliver. I'm founder of this warm, friendly, and very inspiring group, the art group. Uh, behind me, you can see my art. I name my art Space Between. Space Between is a similar to concept Ma. It's a concept of silence and the space like a balance. Balance between body and spirit, happiness and sorrow, light and dark, matter and antimatter. It's a silence, emptiness, zero, ideal space for your own core and for your pure perception. It's perception between observer and the art itself. It's a silent dialogue between you and the art. Hello, my name is Elena. I'm an artist. Uh, it's my passion. I'm not a professional artist. It comes to, came to me naturally. Um, it comes to me one day, uh, something happened with me inside me and I just followed to my intuition I started to, to paint. And it was a miracle because the mixing of the color and the volume and everything just appeared in the canvas and I started to feel like something released from me. And I hope you will feel the same elation and excitement with my works. My name is Katerina Kislitska. I'm an artist and illustrator working in watercolor and ink. I create very detailed artworks inspired by houses and streets of London and its beautiful parks and gardens. I mainly create botanical and architectural pieces just like this. Five years ago, I created a small independent brand, Wind on Paper, called to bring my illustrations to you in a form of high quality printed objects like calendars and greeting cards, art prints, and soon to be launched fine porcelain cups. To find out more about me, please go to windonpaper.com and follow me on Instagram. It's Wind on Paper. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dasha. Uh, I started my journey as a photojournalist and I've always wanted to tell stories with uh, pictures. And I think this year we all need some things or ideas that will help us find meaning in what's happening around us and our place in this world. And for me, this doll, Russia doll with three eyes, became a symbol of that, uh, as a symbol of a connection between past and the future and establishing new links between people who were separated physically. Hey, I'm Eugenia Alexiev, and I predominantly work in oil and egg tempera. I like feeling the wind in my face, trying to capture the moment, getting the inspiration from direct observation. The goal is to capture the moving lights, the feel and essence of the place. I love it all. Heat, rain, snow, nature is the endless source of inspiration for my work. My name is Maria Lavrova. I'm a self-taught artist from Moscow, having lived in London for the past 20 years. This work uh, takes us behind uh, the veil uh, of modern life, the busy life, uh, where we can find ourselves uh, back in centuries uh, to the kingdom of Mother Nature. I like to freeze uh, the pace of modern life, to breathe in the air, to feel the trees and the wind around me and find myself in the stream of living energy. My art is influenced by Russian Cosmism, a cultural movement of the early 20s, which represented philosophical understanding of cosmic evolution of the mankind. 
this work is about existential solitude. It's a state when you are alone face to face uh, with the universe. It's a conscious silence and a silent prayer. Hi, I'm Polina. I'm an artist based in Kent. I would like to present three of my artworks beginning of the new day, war and peace, Natasha, and uh, with hope. And two of those works are from different series, war and peace and uh, with hope. This work is meaningful for me. For me, Natasha represents all the women who should fight their life on their own. And this is kind of story of my life. And also, with hope, whole series about girls looking forward, looking into the better future, I think which is all of us. My name is Sasha, I'm an artist and I'm working with watercolor. Watercolor is my favorite technique. I have two subjects for my pictures. First, first subject is it's flowers. I really love it. I just I just love it. I can't stop to draw them. I just can't stop. And uh, second thing is it's landscape and cyclist inside the landscapes. I like to cycle in local Surrey Hills and uh, I feel it amazing, like amazing atmosphere, amazing film or movies and you involved inside the beautiful something incredible and interesting thing. Enjoy our virtual and live exhibition and experience something new, unknown for yourself. And please don't forget that you are also a unique masterpiece of this big canvas which names the world.